uh, you've been our landlord since 2017. Um, yes. And just thought it's given you plenty of opportunity to uh, see how we perform and um, um, just really wanted to find out why you changed agents in 2017. Well, um, it was more about having an agent than a changing one. Um, okay. I had had a pretty nasty experience uh, with a tenant beforehand and it went to court or at least we had to, I had to get bailiffs out. Um, so it was a bit messy and I realised that I needed to have someone look after the flat and I live abroad so um, it just seemed the, the lesson for me was cutting corners can actually be quite expensive and so I decided that in fact rather than cutting corners to save money um, what I would actually do is um, invest the money in having somebody that I could trust to look after the flat and find the tenants that I needed because obviously doing it from here because um, I live in Spain is always it was always a bit um, difficult. more difficult <laughs> yeah it's oh, fantastic um, and did you find us via referral or online through an ad? I think it was through referral, actually, because I put a shout out on Facebook just to find, see if I could find someone that would be willing. And because um, I didn't want to do it through the usual, um, the usual channels. I wanted to, I'm a big believer in, in um, small business. And so... I didn't want to do it through the usual commercial channels. And I think I put a Facebook um, shout out and someone recommended you. So we then had a chat and um, and it went from there, really. Yeah, yeah. And that was how many years ago? Four years, almost four years, three and a half years ago. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> how time flies. <laughs> yeah. And so now you've had time to work with us. Um, can I ask you specific questions on different aspects of, sure. of the process that you've gone through? So, for example, how have you found us with, based on your last experience, with choosing and vetting tenants? Well, gosh, uh, life is a... The world is a very different place than um, it used to be. So you can imagine... Um, with the coronavirus and everything else that's been going on, having somebody that can vet people even more important now than ever because of furlough, because of um, people not being able to pay, because jobs being lost and that sort of thing. And I've been super, super, super happy with how you vetted my um clients and tenants because in actual fact I've never actually had a problem so um the fact that you managed to get six months in advance um for the first uh well actually not first but one of the clients that we had yes. that was amazing yes. and they've always paid so I'm very very happy with the way that you've been vetting the people that have ended up living in my flat yeah fantastic and I mean, obviously, uh, it just means that, that you've not had problems, we've not had evictions, and you know how costly evictions are, clearly, from oh. your previous experience. I know. 100% um, <laughs> rent roll, no rent arrears. Yeah, so it's it's been quite positive for you in that, in that respect, then. Oh, God, yeah. Um, absolutely. And I really know that... that my flat's in amazing hands and I can go to bed at night not worrying about anything because I know that you'll deal with it. And we've had, I know you and I have had quite a few things happen like gutters and issues and, but it always gets sorted. And so I know that I've got somebody on my team that's always going to be there a hundred percent who's got my back and who's on, on the ground. So um, yeah. yeah, I'm, I'm really you know, if investing in somebody to manage my property means I sleep better at night, then so be it. Yeah. 
which leads which leads me nicely into the 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 question of in terms of maintenance how have you found have you found we've done the right things for you in terms of getting the right price for for the jobs and um, is there any particular situation that comes to mind where you think yes you know I, I think that if they hadn't been handling it things could have been much worse um sure i mean the gutter was was an example example of that um and uh i can't think of anything that that you know comes to mind that i would say that if yeah. you hadn't been handling it it would have been um it would have been better so i would just leave it at saying that having you handle whatever needs to be handled is once again another way of me being able to sleep well at night because i know that you're on the ground i don't have to worry about dealing with all that sort of stuff and yeah. finding somebody to do it for me and this and that and the other and it you know admin takes up a lot of my admin takes up a lot of time and so having somebody that can deal with all of that who's got their team who's who's done their homework and is able to get you know um good people for a sound price is almost like well you don't, I don't have to do the homework it's already been done for me so it just means I get to spend more time with my son less time having yeah. headaches and I get yeah. to sleep better at night yeah and also just to add that, you know, we're quite open to you suggesting contractors. We, we don't limit you to uh, using our own contractors. In fact, we don't have specific contractors. We always go out to get prices to make sure it's always fair and equitable for yourself. Yeah, and that's what I love about you, Tono, is that um, I never feel cheated or like you're um, wanting to... Like it's, it just feels like you're doing the very best by your by your client. So that's the sense I get. Um, yeah. So I know, know once. Yeah. And so what you know, I know that whenever I call you and we've got something to sort out, it's always very useful to have somebody to bounce ideas off mm -hmm. and um, to make decisions that way. Because often, you know, when you rent out your property. Um, you're going to have to make decisions and when you're in your head it's very difficult to know what to do and but having somebody who's already got the know-how who's who's been doing this for years but also who you can bounce ideas off then you can actually get a better um, understanding and clarity about what to do next. And in terms of regulation and compliance, do you feel we keep you updated and we do what we need yes. to do to make sure your property is compliant? Because that's it's a big USP for us, so we always like to know that we are um, we are fulfilling that for our oh, God, yeah. Like <laughs> absolutely. Um, and you send me messages all the time, and then I ask you, have we done that? And you, yeah, yeah, we've already done it. Like okay. Yeah. <laughs> So, fantastic, fantastic. so yeah, <laughs> yeah, good. Um, now, leading on to the the dreaded fee question, um, you know, a lot of agents uh, have a range of offerings fees wise, and we um, we just want to find out from you whether you think the fee you pay us is value for money, especially the fact that we we bill quarterly for our fees, allowing you a bit of cash flow. Um, uh, you know, from the beginning of the tenancy, how, how do you feel about that? I hate paying fees. <laughs> <laughs> You're not allowed no. to have it for free. <laughs> no, I know, I know, I get it, I get it. Um, as I said before, um, when you don't pay, it, it can actually have you pay more in the long run. So um, I'm learning from my perspective that often when I kind of get into this sort of um, the I don't want to pay, I, I kind of have to have a, 
a conversation with myself because I have recently learned this again, that often or sometimes just because you don't, you want to have the extra bit of cash, there are very good reasons behind why you should pay for something that in the long run might cost you more um, if you don't. So um, I had to recently learn that again. And so um, I would say that based on what you do, how you do it, um, that it's very good value for money. Um, yeah, so no complaints here. Um, and I know we talked, uh, touched on the COVID pandemic briefly, um, and, and um, we've had, it's coming up to a year, and um, we generally, overall, across our portfolio, we've managed to um, um, achieve a 100% rent roll with all our properties, no evictions, no um, rent, rent repayment agreements, that kind of, of thing. Would you uh, uh, say that um, the guidance given to you uh, from us in terms of how to deal with these matters has contributed to the, those facts? So, for example, when the government um, uh, mandates uh, or issues le legislation on certain things, and then we spend time interpreting that on t as to how it will benefit you, the pros, the cons, and then how to then implement it within the tenancy. Um, would you say you found that helpful? Yeah, very much so. Um, and once again, you know, apart from the, I think it was two months or three months that we had with no one living in the property, um, we've managed to um, circumvent that, which has been incredible. Um, and so with that in mind, you know, having once again, having somebody just give you the information you need to make the decisions you have to make makes it much, much easier because it's like a filter that you don't have to go searching for. Plus, um, once again, it's the same thing as is like if you're not up to date, then that could cost you money. Um, so, you know, being in compliance is always really important with regards to because I've I've had situations where I haven't been compliant necessarily and it's cost me money. So once again, it's just space and, and time that you create by having somebody on your team like you. So I'd much rather, I value that over having to do the work myself. Yeah, okay. And um, do you, would you say that it makes a difference that we're not local to your property because we're not local to your property? Uh, three, three and a half years down the line, um, how do you feel about that? No, it makes absolutely no difference at all. Yes. Um, none whatsoever. Like, you still manage to go to the property when you need to. You still manage to get the tenants that you needed to get in and show them around. As far as I can tell, it's not made any, any difference at all. So local doesn't mean result. It, yeah. it, as far as I can tell, based on the way you are, um, you get the results regardless of whether you're local or not. Yeah, and I and I guess the fact that is, is is that be in this day and age, you know, uh, transacting business online more so over the last year, um, it's just the, almost the norm. Um, it doesn't really geographically. It, it's uh, it doesn't really make that much. No, no, it doesn't at all. It doesn't at all, and. Um, you know, it, it, I almost feel like state agents are becoming obsolete. They don't, not quite sure where they kind of fit in the game, um, especially now. I mean, I, you know, I can imagine that, well, everything is online. I mean, most people are looking for properties online. I know I did when I bought the, the property, um, yeah, so I, I just, uh, if you work online and you don't necessarily have to, you know, pay rent with massive, like, office 
in some high street, then accordingly the costs are going to be a much, much lower. And the final, final question for you, would you recommend our fully managed services to other UK and overseas landlords? Sure, absolutely, I would, yeah. So, and that's it, in a nutshell. Thank you for your time and thank you for giving us the opportunity to serve you and um, I hope we look forward to many more years of, uh, yeah, me of too. After your <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much. Bye. You're welcome.